Well, hello and welcome to this introduction to position vector and displacement vector. Uh, it is an IGCSE question and it's also suitable for uh, AS level M1 and also for 11th grade algebra. Now, I hope you bear with me because there's a lot packed into this one slide and hopefully you'll be patient enough to watch the whole slide. Now, now, if I say to you, uh, pick me up at, say, Abraham Airport. Now, as far as you are concerned, Abraham Airport can be anywhere on a, uh, a coordinate plane. You don't know where it is. It's not been there before. I didn't make it easier. I said to you, well, uh, Abraham Airport is five miles from home. Well, you might like to, if you might like to draw to scale or something and draw a circle with radius five miles and center home. Okay, so that's what we got there. But even then, it's still difficult to find Abraham Airport. And then make it better. I then said to you, well, if you drive three miles east and four miles north, that should get you to Abraham Airport. Now, this last statement is more precise, as far as you're concerned, than the first two. Okay, so you can look at me at Abraham Airport at three, four. They have three, three east and four north. Well, we then say, well, because we're starting from home, if we make home our, our home base or the origin at zero, zero, this displacement vector, which starts from home, now becomes the position vector. And from now on, any vector that is referenced from home now becomes the position vector. Hope that makes sense. Right. Now, here's the question. Now, in the actual examination, sorry, in the actual question itself, this is not given to us. Okay, and I've used this to try and illustrate the question or answer the question or to confirm our answers. So that's not there in the exam itself. Right, and it says we got a control tower as O, uh, the grid position of O is zero zero. So that's the origin there. And then we have an aircraft located at A with position vector 26. So home is, sorry, the control tower is here. And 26 will be 2 and then 6 there. So that is now our position vector because it's referenced from the origin. Next, we, the aircraft flies from A to B with a displacement vector note is displacement vector not position vector because it's not referenced from the origin right so the displacement vector is three minus two so you go three to the right and two down that give us get us b and that's b there now next from b to c the displacement vector is three two so three to the right and two up and that should give us position C. And then moving on, from C to D, the displacement vector is 2, 3. So 2 to the right and 3 up, and that should give us D. Now, don't forget that all these are displacement vectors there. That one, that one, and that one, because they're not referenced to the origin there. Right. Now, again, as I said earlier, this grid is not in the exam. So you do all your calculations from what you're given to what's given to you here. So there we go. And so the, the first question is, what is the new position vector? Now to do that, you need to add uh, the position vector of A to the displacement vector A to B to B to C to the vector to three. And that's what you got here. This line here just confirms and hopefully confirm an answer. So you've got uh, two, six, add 3 minus 2, add 3, 2, add 2, 3, and then see what you get. For the x's first, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 2 will give us 10, and 6 minus 2 will give us 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. And so that's what you got there. And this, the green line, actually then confirms the new position vector. It is 10, 9. If you check that yourself, so we've used this to confirm what you got there in our calculation there. Now, next question says, uh, what is the total displacement? Now, to find that, you 
you look at this displacement and this one and this one here so you add 3 minus 2 um, you add uh, 3 minus 2 and 3 2 and 2 3 and then when you add uh, 3 add 3 give you 6 6 add 2 give you 8 minus 2 add 2 give you 0 0 plus 3 give us 3 so you have uh, 8 3 and to confirm that this is the displacement from A to D and it's 8 3 there now if you are given this in the exam itself with all these drawings here you can actually find AD by okay because you cannot get to AD directly you don't know what it is so you can go from A to O which is minus 2 6 and then add from and then add 10 9 that should give you 83 as well so the displacement will be go back on yourself on the position vector and then add a new position vector that should give you the displacement there okay right next question says uh, how far has the aircraft traveled well it, it traveled from A to B B to C and then C to D and to get that you use Pythagoras there you 2 squared plus 3 squared 3 squared plus 2 squared 2 squared plus 3 squared and find the square root so what you then have is this one here and you have root square root of 39 and that is an accurate answer you don't have to do any more but if you wish you can do um, get out to the nearest integer which is 6 but that's not the, the, the accurate answer is root 39 and that is ac the accepted answer this is not accurate there okay and i hope all that made some sense please please subscribe and thank you for watching and i see you again sometime